Hi guys, hope you all doing good. Welcome back to my channel at Irene Gavivi. My returning subscribers, my new subscribers, welcome back. My new viewers consider subscribing. So today we are in the village and we are going to spend a day with this young boy. And as we all know, schools are closed for the festive season. So our kids are at home. And in our community, in African community, when we are not at school, kids are assigned to different duties. So what the boys are told to do, not what the girls are doing. For example, for the girls, they take care of the young ones, they, t they take care of the house, utensils, everything to do with house and kids and cooking. And for the boys, they have to take care of the livestock, the goats, everything to do with animals, and even going to, going to look for what they eat in the shamba. For our case, we are, we are in a village where we don't have much space to graze. What you have to do is you either go look for what your animals will eat, in the field or the small place you have you take care of the animals not to go in people's farm in our village there is a lot of conflict of interest between the farmers the shaba farmers and the animals farmers if your animals go to feed in people's shamba conflict and they even take it further to the village elders you are destroying their crops you have to pay you have a lot of things happen when you your cow graze in other people farm even the chicken and the everything that can destroy somebody's farm produce so what we do in our village we tie our animals and for our case where we have tied our animals, both sides are people's farm. So you have to, the rope that you have tied your animals with have to be not long. The animals don't have to feed on people's crops. So what we do in the village, you have to go and look for animal pasture, maybe napier grass, maize, 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 what, what do we call them? Those, like this, mm, we call them mafefe in our native language and feed to the animals. So for this boy, he have to go to the farm, look for this maize product for other weeds in the farm and feed to the animals. He have to work hard because this is what the parents left him to do. He have to make sure the animals are well fed, they are okay, they have drunk water and everything else to do with the animals. So in their shamba they have planted maize they don't have to wait for the maize to give them maize. These are planted purposely for the animals. So that's why he is cutting them when they are still young. So for the boy, he has to work hard so that he can have time to go play with other kids. That's why he is working hard. He had gathered more but the animals have finished, so he have to look for more.
So after he is finished, he have to carry his maize home to go and feed the animals. This is the boy going home and it is on a rainy season. That's why we have water everywhere. As we were going home, we came across these boys who are swimming on this water this is flooded water coming from people's home and finding its way to the big river there is no liver here when it is on dry season this is purely a seasonal stream it is not even a stream because when it is stopped raining like for two days the place will be very dry. The water is not that safe for kids to swim because in this case it is very dirty. So this is these are the animals. They have already finished the the food that you are given they need more You have to be very careful not to cut the animals while cutting for them the leaves. That's why he is trying to chase them away. After they are done eating their, their maize and the weeds that they were given, the boy decides to take them to grace and he have to be there with the cows so that they cannot go to people's farm. Even though he wants to have his time to play, he can't because the animals can destroy people's farm and it will be a case with his parents and the 
village elders so you have to be very 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 careful so guys that is just part of a boy an african boys day daily routine on a school holiday this is part of helping their parents you can see you have to be very careful not for the cow not to get into people's farm where he is studying in someone's farm so he have to chase the cow away this is how african kids are raised being shown how to work and depending on themselves until next time guys don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel